I'm issuing you a challenge. Can you watch this whole video? Comment below and let me know exactly where you found our channel. And also, when we reach a thousand subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it'll be awesome. Stay tuned, you already know what's next. Theater of Pain. <laughs> Free, little bit better than it used to be. Cause I'm alive. Welcome back, Heels and Quads Media here on YouTube. I'm Tommy, and I'm back with number six on my Motley Crue ranking list. I don't hate any Motley Crue album. I dislike some. I dislike parts of some of them. But coming in at number six, as you saw in the thumbnail, because you clicked, you're smart. You're so smart. From 1985, Theater of Pain. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment down below. Let me know what you think of Theater of Pain. Is it too high on my list? Is it too low on my list? Where does it rank on yours? Here we go, Theater of Pain. At number six, Theater of Pain, released June 24th, 1985. While it's surprising that an 80s album from the crew ranks this low on my list, especially since we haven't seen the 94 self-titled Karabi record yet, there is a reason. I think this is a fine record, but up against the previous two albums, like Too Fast for Love and Shout at the Devil, there's a considerable drop. And honestly, a lot of it is due to the track listing itself. Had they opened with Louder Than Hell, I think I would be more engaged. City Boy Blues feels like a side A closer or a closing track. Also, you could open with Smoking in the Boys Room. A cover grabs someone's attention. A lot of filler here, but you can't deny the mass effect Home Sweet Home had. That's one of the major reasons why it's not lower on my list. Least favorite track. Tonight, tonight, tonight. While musically it's pretty awesome, the consistent tonight build gets old quick. Favorite track, Louder Than Hell. <laughs> Heavy drums, squealing guitar, crunchy riff throughout, Vince is rocking, and this is Motley Crue. The chorus has that anthemic vibe even though it's simple. Honorable mention, Home Sweet Home. No fucking way. The piano is absolutely stunning. Vince sounds great, perfect vibrato undertone. It kicks absolute ass. Mick plays a killer solo. It's fantastic. There's a reason why this was the most requested song on MTV. They had to implement a limit on how many times a video could be played. This song rocks, even if you're a metalhead. There it was at number six from 1985, Motley Crue's Theater of Pain. I don't dislike this album by any means, but when you start getting into the creme de la creme, I don't think it's a top five album. Motley Crue only has nine studio albums in their entire catalog. And while this is from the 80s and it's, you know, when Motley Crue is really hitting their stride, I don't think this, I think this album could have been better. I'll put it that way. That's the nicest way to put it. There's great songs on here. There's good songs. And then there's a lot of filler. All the music on it is fantastic. Even the harmonica solo on Smoking in the Boys Room, which I know people dislike that. But I think it's a good cover. Thank you for watching. If you watch this far, you're awesome. Go to MudaMerch.com and pick up the new Heels and Quads Media merch. And also some of our retro designs at prowrestlingtees.com thanks for watching subscribe like comment love yous and i'll see you next time no